Hello, uh, I'm Milind Murik. I'm a watercolor painter and I have been writing books on art instructions for a long time. 13 books I've written so far. So my first book came a uh, long time back called Watercolor, which was in 2000. And this is a new book which I'm going to introduce now, uh, which almost I started writing after 15 years of my first watercolor book. So the idea of this book, I mean, uh, what different it is, that over the 15 years, there was a lot of development in my own, in my own pursuit, I would say, and also a lot of changes uh, in the ideas. Okay. So this is the book which uh, I have uh, put in all my effort, I can say. This is like almost everything I know about watercolor, till now, of course. And this book is not exactly uh, written in the same way, like it is not exactly the art instruction, but it is more about the thought that goes behind when I'm writing this book. So the thought in the sense, it is the process, like uh, whatever, the drawing, composition, technique, everything. But not just that, uh, there are a lot of ideas and visions when I want to um, convey through my painting. There are a lot of conflicts and uh, paradoxes, I can call it, that arise when you are pursuing any kind of art. And uh, those are the things I'm trying to explain in this book. The, the sequence of the book is more or less uh, like I start with introducing the kind of uh, watercolor that I'm going to talk about. And it is about the process of an artist and also the process of a painting. See, any process of a painting is like I start with drawing, then I put my washes, and uh, of course the thought goes behind it, and then add details and the painting gets complete. In the similar way, if I look at my experience of 15 years, also, the development of artists goes in certain sequence. Like initially, when I started painting, I was much concerned about the techniques, how I should uh, use the technique, how, how effectively I should use the washes, brushwork, etc., which are the elements of the painting. Then, obviously, the drawing, perspective, proportion, these are the technical elements uh, that I need to take care of. And when this, these things are over, I can say, the grammar part is more or less over. And then you start thinking about a composition. What is a composition? What is a good composition in the sense why certain paintings look and appeal more and certain don't. So these kind of uh, semi-technical analysis, I can say, this is not exactly technical. There are rules of composition, but there are also rules which are not, uh, the rules. there are no rules which can not be broken. So you are experimenting with new ideas of composition. You're breaking the standard composition rule and you are learning and expressing more and more through composition, color schemes. And then the question comes, ki, why am I painting? What is my vision? What is that I need to express? Those are the ideas of vision that have been kind of discussed in this book in the same sequence as, a, as a, most of the painters will go through. So please do come back, subscribe to the channel.